2017, round one, and Lourdes, France. Or is it Lourdes? Lourdes. Lourdes? Lourdes. In Lourdes, France. Sounds like I say Lourdes of France. Lourdes of France. So we just showed up and everybody's getting set up for the season. It's cool to see, kind of be back and see everybody again. Long winter, but it kind of goes by super quick, so back into it already. Last night was kind of the first night seeing everybody again at dinner, and it was like we never even left, like straight back where we left off. So just great vibes, good times, and uh, we're all excited to be here racing again. It went super smooth for a first year of a team, but it was still the first year, so this year we're like even more dialed. Favorite part about Lord? Favorite part? Mm. I don't really like anything about Lords except for the track. I was going to say the track. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that extreme, but the track's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I've got good memories. I've won both times I've been here, so I kind of like this place. I wish we had a little more sun. Uh, embracing the cold weather. Yeah. Let me go walk the track. It uh, looks like it snowed up there last night. Ah, sunshine. They actually like filled dirt in. That's crazy. This gets all rutted, and there's all these rocks in here, and you're like, yeah, rip, yeah, beep, 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 whoop, whoop, okay, hey guys, rip, 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 and try to like jump, basically from there to there. <laughs> I feel like we're right back, like we were a few years ago on the same team. I think just studying tracks and hanging out and like studying lines, we have a real like similar mindset. Yeah. If you just rally it all the way around, it'll square up for that corner, but I think you'd be able to get so much speed You think go all the way low in the gully? Yeah, there's like a perfect bank and you could use that and then just get up. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Melting the snow. Melting snow. Nico and I aren't the loudest dudes out there. <laughs> I like this. Section sick. Yeah. yeah, jump in and then rail the berm. Like being able to race World Cups, you get to ride the sickest tracks on the best equipment. So practice day is always fun, so fun. Rare that you get good conditions at a World Cup, but yesterday was perfect traction. Pretty drama free weekend. Really like got up to speed almost like second or third run. The runs have just been like fun, man. Track's been like so sick. Looks like there could be a couple little sneaker lines in there too. There hasn't been many of those the last few years, so I'm like pretty fired up. Might be one or two. Yeah, if I can hit all my lines, I think I'll do a nice clean run, and hopefully be up close to the front. I like to score some points in quality, that's always a good thing. All these French guys are out here. It's Saturday, it's the only qualifying morning and there's so many people on the track. Gotta love the fans. Gotta love them. Keeping it rev. just had qualifying, he's in Lourdes on Saturday afternoon. Aaron finished fifth and he's only 1.3 seconds off the leader. And he didn't have a completely dialed in run, he said he wasn't aggressive enough. It was good man, I came down, qualified top 20, so stoked with that, scored a couple points. And just had a nice smooth run, like no issues, good mood the whole time, and no stress. We're just kind of just fine tuning stuff and trying to get it ready for tomorrow. The bikes are dialed. The bikes and everything work awesome. Every part on the bike is what I'd want to ride. Bike is running super good right now. Look at those silver spokes though. Can we just take a moment to appreciate? So shiny. Look at that thing. Look at it. Clean. No. The number no. on the number no. plate. No. That part's pretty cool too. That might be better than Silver Spokes. <laughs> she passed. I feel like I got the speed to win tomorrow with 
kept things a little less than perfect and already feel good, so I'm pretty stoked to keep things going. It is race day. I love race day. Good morning. Just making some little tweaks to. I'm well, not making any tweaks. I'm just pumping the tires up. <laughs> and just hopefully the weather holds up. So he goes P6. Nico goes P6. So sick. It was good for me. It was good for 99.9% .9 of the weekend. It's been epic all weekend. It was not epic for the last 30 minutes. We had really good weather. Like the weekend was so sick. Today was sunny for most of the day. It was warm this morning. I like noticed that when I rode up to the track. When I rode up here, it was like beautiful temperatures. I had, a, I had a good clean run. It was like one of those runs where I was at the bottom before I knew it. Don't really remember exactly what happened. Okay, so he's gone through the first split. One of the fastest guys so far, point four down. Pushed the edge as hard as I could have comfortably and kind of got through everything and hit all my lines and sort of went to plan. So he goes P6, Nico goes P6. It's a good feeling when that happens because it doesn't always go that way. Doesn't always go that way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> And when we got to the top of the hill, it was like pretty much in the middle of the storm on the top of a big mountain. So I kind of sent it into the top section that was pretty gnarly and I managed to stay alive and like kind of just ping pong balled my way through. I kind of like messed up a little spot and as soon as I hit my brakes, I like slid off into the tape. So it kind of wasn't really a crash, but I had a pretty big like stop and had to pull my stuff back onto the track. Then I got going again. I actually hit a few sections like decent, but you were just... You had to ride it like so easy. And then I got to the bottom and uh, I couldn't see, like my goggles were so smoked and I was too afraid to take my hand off the bars to try to clear them. So I just decided to just try to make it down with no vision and I couldn't really see at the bottom and I smoked a tree and had another big crash. So it was, uh, it was eventful. It does make the series exciting now though. It's, it's just like results all over the map. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out. Yeah man, I'm stoked. Got off on the right foot. Felt good all weekend and got a little bit of luck on my side, but I'll take it. Yeah. I've been on the other end of it enough. So I'll take a little bit of luck. But my body, something's happening here. And I don't know the words. Podium speech, you're like, no, no, no. I'd like to dedicate this song, this Mariah Carey song, to all you out there in the audience. Maybe I'd be like Marvin Gaye, i get the deep voice. I'd be like, oh yeah, this is the saddest day of my life. <laughs>